Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a Oris Aqua. This is the limited edition Carries Fort Reef Limited Edition model. So only 2,000 of these around. My friend Steve over at a watch obsession has lent me this. Now, unfortunately, I say, this watch is stunning. It looks great, but I've got a few niggles which really kind of put me off it. So stick with me and we'll see what you you guys think. Now, specs wise, 43.5, 13.2, and a log width of 50. So it's a good size watch and it's got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, it just feels right. Remember, this watch comes in at £2,100 in the UK, but it does come with a very nice box and a nice orange rubber strap with a adjustable clasp on there. So that is that is quite nice. Um, the dial, there's no arguing in the fact. It's simply lovely. It's this thing at the moment with blue dials. They're very much in vogue, and this one does a great job. The sunburst effect on it is fantastic. But different hues, depending on the lighting conditions, are also amazing. You need this watch outside to really appreciate that blue. It is stunning. Now, as I zoom into that, you will see the hour markers all nicely polished, as two of the hands. Now, we do have a GMT hand down here. And this is one of my quirks with it, really. Um, I just think it's this inner ring is too busy. I think you'd almost be better off like they did at the 12 o'clock and put a tiny little dot and maybe have one dot, three dot and so forth just to get rid of a, it's, it's a lot going on in there and I'd like to see that kind of gone. The date window at three o'clock is okay but maybe I think a black date window, a black date background with white numbers on there might have looked a little bit better but again nothing it's exactly wrong. This is just my little take on it. Now, here we have a lovely sapphire crystal. You see a nice domed sapphire crystal with our coat on both sides. So it's done a really nice job of that and the way it blends nicely into the sapphire um, bezel insert there. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be another one of my negatives for this watch. If I zoom out, the bezel when you try and turn it is actually you have to quite pinch it to turn it it's not so easy to turn the, the action is pretty good there's virtually no back place so they have done a really nice job of that but it is bi-directional so as I wind it back obviously it lines up absolutely perfect can't fault that at all but why on earth on this 300 meter diver, which is supporting restoring the coral reef, have you got a GMT bezel? Now, you know, you've got the GMT down there. So surely two time zones, two time zones. I've got many watches with like two time zone complications. I think that's great. But do you need a third time zone complication with a GMT bezel on a diver's watch? I'm not so sure there. I'm pretty certain that people who have this watch who would like to go diving with it would prefer a bezel, you know, an, an actual unidirectional bezel with a counter. I know you can argue the fact that most people use dive computers these days. No one really uses their watch. But, you know, this is what this watch is supposed to be a diver, so not really a GMT Pacific only watch. But again, that's, I'm just being awkward on that one. So, as we start going past that, we look at the casework. Now, this watch is immaculate. The finishing does look superb. They've done a really tidy job. I like the way Oris use these special screws and all that. It is very, very nice. One thing I, I well, actually, let's get to the back first. Very nice job. Limited edition, super. It is, say, really nice for casework. Now, one thing I would say, the crown on this, unscrewing the crown, is a joy. Winding the watch is an absolute joy. It has a Solita SW330-1 uh, on there, so it's a 25 joule movement, 28,800 
hertz, uh, four hertz, sorry, so eight beats per second, 42 hour power reserve. It's basically an ETA 28932 clone, but done quite well. I say it is like butter to wine, really super nice. And to screw the crown back in, absolute effortless. This is borderline, one of the best crowns I've ever come across for winding and screwing back in. Really, really impressive. And when you see on the side here, the actual Oris logo, pretty well, that's, yeah, that's about right. That is one of the best lining up crowns I have ever come across on any watch, full stop. Really, simply fantastic. But then, <laughs> this is where I've got this kind of thing with this watch. You see where it says Oris on there? I'm ready? It will literally, I don't know if you can see it on there, it will scratch my nail. It is that sharp. So that is, I don't know if it will, yeah, it just feels, that's not going to snag on that, but it just feels so sharp. That, if it was mine, I'd have to just uh, a little light bit of sandpaper or something just to take that little edge off. One of those things. So anyway, let's get out now to the bracelet. There's, it's it's hard to actually clarify because it's not really proper end links on this watch because it is just a center link. But the bracelet itself is very nice. You have this, it's polished, but almost to a satin finish um, on here. And then you have a brushed section here. And I like the way they have this slight bevel in the center links there. That I think is really quite nice. I know lots of companies try and come up with their own bracelets designs, but that really does work well. The clasp is a deployant clasp. So we have a push button release there, Oris logo on the side there. We do have two pins located in the watch here, which makes it just a little bit more secure if one pin was ever to fail, as I have seen it on a watch once. The dive link extension, very sturdy, nice looking bit of milled um, steel there. Three levels of micro adjustment, always good to have micro adjustment on that. I would, it's a shame it maybe doesn't have on the fly micro adjustment. That perhaps would have been a little bit better, but again, this is, you know, it is very well done anyway. It's, let me put it on my wrist and you can see how it looks. I say my wrist size is a fraction over seven inches, uh, over, just over 18 centimeters or sink. And on my wrist, I think it looks great. Yeah, I think they've done such a nice job on this. And I, there's many people who will say I'm just being, you know, over the top on it. But for me, it's just, I don't feel the love for it. I, I think it's a stunning looking watch, but I'm not feeling the love. It's a little bit of a shame because it is a really... Yeah, it's a handsome looking watch, but there's little details which just let it down for me, which is a little bit of a shame. And I hope my friend Steve will carry on lending me his watches. But hey, you know, this is the reason why you watch these reviews. And this is just simply my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any comments, if you think I'm just being over the top, please feel free to say, and I'll try and get back to you. Even though I'm right. <laughs> so anyway, stay safe and I'll see you at the next review. All the best. Bye.